The topic today is Boston, the status of downtown crossing in the emerging innovation district with the Marine Industrial Park. Boston Mayor Tom Menino is our guest on Comcast Newsmakers here at Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio. Welcome, Mayor. Welcome, Jen. It's great to be on your program. Thank you for being here. So let's start with talking about the reinvigorating development in downtown crossing. What are you seeing are the challenges? Well, the challenge, of course, is 1 Franklin Street, you know, which is a, the old fire leans building that uh, has stand vacant for several years. Um, we are reconstructing it uh, three years ago, but then the economy went south on us, and, uh, mm -hmm. and we're trying to re reinvigorate it, uh, trying to get some new monies for it, uh, talking to Bernardo and other folks who might have the ability to bring it back. But that's only one piece of downtown Crossing. Okay. Look at 45 Province Street, yeah. a beautiful condominium complex beautiful. there. Some of the nicest uh, views in the city. Five new restaurants are opening down in uh, the downtown Crossing area over the next month or two. Mm -hmm. You know, you have new stores opening up all the time. You get the... Uh, Paramount Theater, have you been inside yet? Gorgeous. $98 million was spent on renovating that building. You got the Opera House that's going to be open later this year. It's opening now. The Morning Theater later this year. So, you know, the three com the commitments we made of the theater district are coming to fruition in this year. And there'll be great opportunities for people to come down to the downtown crossing area and see these great theaters besides the restaurants, the hotels we have down there. Mm -hmm. Some of the new retailers also who have invested down there. So yes, one Franklin Street is a problem, but also what they did recently was um, the organization down there got uh, enough signatures to create a bid district, a business improvement district. It's the first one in the city of Boston where the owners of the property contribute to a special fund for maintenance, promotion, all those things to make it an even better place to, to be. shop. Well, it's great to see the changes are happening. Now, let's talk about the Innovation District. What's the vision? What are we expecting to see? Well, the Innovation District is South Boston Waterfront. You know, I could have had that developed several years ago mm -hmm. with tall, with towers, with uh, office space, uh, how, uh, uh, condominiums, mm -hmm. and retail. But, you know, that's anywhere in America. I wanted a very special place. I want where the new economy is coming from. Clean energy. Mm -hmm. You know, all those in issues that deal with the future of Boston, and also with the biomedical stuff that could get on there. And so over the last uh, several months, we've talked to a lot of firms. Mass Challenge, just the other day, had a, a contest about who is the new, newest business that will succeed, incubator companies. 200 of them came down there, and they're working real well together, and they gave a prize just the other day to the best uh, company. You know, so we got uh, uh, clean tech going down to the waterfront. All those part of what the economy of the future is. That's innovation. You could put any kind of, you know, I could have put office towers there. We don't want that. It's a very special place. There's no other place in America that has property like that that's vacant and available to be built on presently. So you're taking your time and you're doing it right. What is the timetable? Well, I think, you know, one of the properties, I think you'll see some pro um, development start in November of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one, they're putting, they put their plans in to the Redevelopment Authority. Also, the uh, two large parcels of the Marine Industrial Park mm -hmm. that the BRA just put out for development of M&N parcels, uh, right. what could be there, life sciences, uh, fish processing, many different types of industries, great parcels of property down there. Don't forget, the waterfront also, look at Dana Farber is taking a big interest in that area mm -hmm. of our city, and uh, they got two major operations going down there. And the interesting thing is, um, when we did, Dana Fiber went down there, and I went down to visit the folks. Looked at a big change for them going from the Long Medical to the Marine Industrial Park. You know, the only thing they wanted down there to keep themselves happy? A Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. And well, you was, can give them and that. that. And that was easy to help out. I mean, but it was interesting going from Long Medical area to the waterfront. And mm -hmm. they, it's a big and change. That's well, right. And the workers loved it down there. Mm -hmm. Better production, better attitude about their jobs, and... Uh, and Dana Farm is very happy with it. Of course, and it's great to hear about these new projects. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much. Thanks. And thank you for watching this version of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson. We'll see you next time.